Welp. In a game in which Army and Navy went to overtime for the first time ever. I, I, I have no words on that. Army wins because Navy fumbles. Um, it doesn't feel like Shades of 2012 or anything. I still think that's the greatest Army Navy game ever. <laughs> uh, but whatever. I know. I know. I know. A certain pundit on Twitter will say that this was the greatest Army Navy game ever. <laughs> but this is not about. This is not about big gay boomer because this takes terrible. But. Caleb Williams did win the Heisman, you know. I forgot to talk about the Heisman last night. I mean, Max Duggan, C.J. Stroud, and Stetson Bennett. Again, like, Stetson Bennett even being in New York is a travesty in and of itself. But Caleb Williams won the Heisman. Now, people are going to be like, oh, well, Caleb doesn't have the integrity. He doesn't have the character because he wrote, you know, some words on his fingernails. I was like, I don't care. He, you know, he was going to win the Heisman, you know, with these performances that he had the last few weeks. Um, there was no doubt, you know, with everybody else going down and the invitees, you know, really like Duggan. Why is he, you know, I, I appreciate that Duggan's had a great season, but it was really a team effort that propelled him. Stroud, you already know I don't think Stroud should be there. He shouldn't have been there last year. You you already knew that. And in Stetson Bennett should not have been there. You want to know my... You want to know my eyes, you know? If, you know, if I would have sent some people to New York, I would have sent Williams to New York. I definitely would have sent Williams... Hooker would have been sent to New York regardless. I don't care if he has, you know, like a, you know, I don't care how injured he is, you know, I don't care if he's in a cast or anything. Send that man to New York. Corum, I know he's injured. Send him and Beach out to New York. You know, Harrison Jr., Knicks, Phoenix, you know, the list goes on. And this top 10, you know, that, that was for this year for the Heisman was just uh, like what is this like if I could have buy it like you know you know four people to New York I would it probably would have been like you know, you know just 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 because it would have it would have been Williams it would have been Williams Hooker Corum and then Harrison Jr. you know just 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 because but. In any case, it is what it is. Williams with Heisman. So what about the FCS playoffs, huh? Well, it didn't go too well for about, you know, maybe half the games. Um, North Dakota State just beat up on Sanford like it was nobody's business. And William and Mary got whipped by Montana State. But the other two games were pretty interesting. We're talking Matthew Sluka and company were able to keep things okay for a little bit. It was very physical between Holy Cross and South Dakota State. Until the fourth quarter win, you know, the Jackrabbits flexed their muscles and, you know, took the W away. It was a physical game for like three and a half quarters. But then, again, that Missouri Valley pedigree was just too much. And then the game that you couldn't see on any network, you had to get ESPN Plus and you had to pirate it. You had to watch Incarnate Word Sacramento State. And Incarnate Word, they beat Sacramento State. And Sacramento State's head coach, George Taylor, he's gone. He's gone to Stanford. Wow, man. Wow. It was the wildest game of the weekend. Most points scored in the FCS playoff game. Just bonkers until the end. But J.G. Ken, Lindsey Scott Jr., and then Boaz down from San Antonio. They pull off the upset against the number two seed, and they get to go 
They get to go uh, somewhere. Somewhere you all may know. The Fargo Dome. And meanwhile, South Dakota State, Montana State, will tangle in a rematch of the semifinal from last year. And both these games should be good. We got a, we got a couple of goodies on Friday night and Saturday afternoon. Cannot wait for it. Um, again, what what a what an interesting you know last true week of the regular season of FCS quarterfinals kicking off and everything like that. Now we're moving on to the semis with the four teams remaining, and now it's going to be bowl season. And you're probably wondering what am I what am I thinking about bowl season? Um, honestly, you're gonna have to hold on and wait for that. Wait until next week. I'll see you on Monday. I'll see you on Monday, everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm out for this weekend. I'll take care.